Renee Young got COVID-19 at the WWE tapings, and she went home, and now John Moxley is probably going to be self-quarantining for two weeks. I, I, I mean, the reality of the situation is, as of yesterday, Renee had gotten very sick but was feeling better, and Moxley had been by her side for several days. And so it's possible he's not going to get it. I don't know. But chances are he's probably going to get it. And even if he doesn't get it, I mean, he should be self-quarantining for two weeks. And so he may end up being out of Fighter Fest. Now, obviously, on the on the grand list of, of problems, John Moxley having to not go to Fighter Fest is like at the bottom of the list, okay? We know of Renee Young... And Kayla Braxton and Adam Pierce, because the three of them have all gone public with it, okay? I don't know how many people this outbreak has claimed, okay? But I had multiple sources use the term 10 plus. I also heard numbers at or close, and this also is from multiple sources, numbers at or close to two dozen. Okay? I don't know how many. Now, whenever you hear on the news about an outbreak at a meat packing plant or Amazon or whatever, you always hear a number. They always tell you how many people got sick. And granted, you don't need to say who. Obviously there's there's privacy concerns. I don't we don't need to know the names of everybody, but it would be, to me, pretty important to let us know how many people are affected, okay? Now, I don't know all of the names. I, I only know rumored numbers from multiple sources, and it's more than three, okay? I don't want to make this and I told you so or anything like that, but, dude, we've been talking about this for months. How crazy it is to run shows and do nothing but scan everybody's forehead. We said it over and over and over again. How the idea that you can put some fans in the audience and put up plexiglass in a, in a closed set and no masks allowed. And I know people are going to argue that there's no such thing as no masks allowed, but... I was specifically told by more than one person that the company, and by the company, I think we all know who we're talking about here because everything stops at Vince. Company told people no masks. And if you want to argue that, like, you're welcome to, but all you have to do, every Raw, every SmackDown, every NXT show, Every single one of them that has people in the crowd, nobody, 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 not on one show, not on one single show, not one person. I think with the exception of, I forget her name, but she's a luchador. She wears a mask, okay? Outside of that, not on not one show over the last several months has one single solitary person ever worn a mask. You're telling me. You're trying to tell me that nobody ever voluntarily wanted to wear a mask. I mean, get out of here. I, I was specifically told no masks allowed, and I've never seen a mask. So if you want to argue it, knock yourself out. But the fact of the matter is, no masks allowed, okay? The friends and family deal. I heard various things about friends and family. I, I heard they were specifically told, don't wear a mask. Our fans don't wear masks. And another phrase that I was told was, if you want to wear a mask, just don't show up. But masks weren't allowed. And guess what? That led to this outbreak. And if you want to get mad at me, because I'm harping on this, I could tell you something else here. If you think that I'm the only person complaining about this no mask policy and everything else, you are wrong. Okay? Okay. There have been people in the company for a long time now that have that have said, dude, 
We we got to take care. We we got to do more. Okay? Inside the company, we have got to do more. I believe this has gone all the way up to people telling this to Vince. And Vince didn't do more. He just, no masks allowed. We're checking everybody's temperatures. And away we go. Now look where we are. There's an outbreak. Now, something that nobody is talking about here in this John Moxley case. Okay? Like, some people are really mad. They're making this about WWE, AEW. WWE is screwed, AEW. Forget all of that, okay? Forget who John Moxley is as a performer. Do you know what John Moxley is besides being a performer and the AEW champion or winner? Forget all that. You know what he is? He's a husband. And somebody, Renee Young contracted coronavirus in the WWE environment. And what actually happened here is that she went home and she exposed her husband. Okay? Now, we know about Kayla. We know about Adam Pierce. What about everybody else? They're all going home to their wives, husbands, boyfriends, children, and they are potentially spreading coronavirus to those loved ones in their lives. And a very important point about Renee Young is, Renee Young got tested by WWE, and guess what? She passed. She then went home to her husband, and she started to feel sick. And she started to feel worse. And so they got a coronavirus test at their house. And then she tested positive. So when you think about if a number ever comes out, let's say the number is 19. 19 people were tested by WWE and they failed. Let's just say that's the number. I don't know again what the number is because WWE ain't saying anything. Let's just say that 19 people failed. Well, guess what? There is a decent chance, based on what happened to Renee Young, that a bunch of people that took that test and passed have coronavirus and they took it home to their wives and their husbands and their children. If you think for one second that people in that company aren't livid about this situation right now, If you think this is just Brian yelling into a microphone on Observer Live, let me tell you something. People in that company are livid. I don't know this for sure. In fact, I won't even say anymore, but people are livid. Okay, for everything that I just talked about here. Now, I don't know if anything's changed in the last few hours, but as of yesterday, I heard from people that they're learning everything again from going online. And reading what's on various websites, podcasts, etc. Company's not saying anything. Unlike these meatpacking plants, company's not even announcing how many people have tested positive. They're still making plans to continue tapings.